Good evening. I'm Michael Grant. Welcome to this special Memorial Day edition of Horizon. The Medal of Honor is the military's highest award for valor in action against an enemy force from the Civil War to the war in Iraq. A total of 3,460 individuals have been awarded that medal. Arizona has had a dozen Medal of Honor recipients, including an Eloy Marine named Jose Jimenez, who fought in Vietnam. The long and winding road. They came from all walks of life to fight in Vietnam. In the late summer of 1969, the men that made up Company K, 3rd Battalion, 7th Regiment, 1st Marine Division, would experience a day few will ever forget. Yeah, August 28, 1969. Um... You know, I still have dreams about that day. It was we've had many we had many difficult days in Vietnam, but that was one of the worst. We lost quite a few uh, good uh, Marines during that uh, battle there in Death Valley. Alan Jones was a member of K or Kilo Company, as it was known. His team had already taken on snipers that hot, miserable day in Da Nang when orders came to take out an enemy anti-aircraft gun on Hill 381. They made it 150 feet uphill before gunfire from AK-47s forced the men to dive into the grass. No one moved, except one, Lance Corporal Jojo Jimenez. Knowing uh, Jojo, he was just determined to go up there and to bring uh, the enemy down and, and to get that gun, and, uh, and that, that's what he did. He uh, took out quite a few of the enemy, and he just kept on charging, even though that he was being fired at. It was just, it was just astonishing. Jimenez killed six Vietnamese soldiers, including the one manning the 50-millimeter machine gun. Before he could continue uphill, a distant shot from an AK-47 struck Jose Francisco Jojo Jimenez in the head. The death of Kilo Company's fire team leader sent a shock throughout the squad. There was no shortage of volunteers to retrieve his body. And so a few of us got together, made a plan to go down there and to bring him back, and uh, and this just kind of show, tells you about the kind of a person that Jojo was because there were so many individuals who volunteered to go down in there even though that we knew that some of us probably wouldn't be coming back. A total of three men, Johnny Bosser, Ed Sherrod, and Dennis Davis died trying to retrieve Jojo's body. Three others were wounded. A sniper and grass fire prevented the Marines of Kilo Company from getting Jojo back until the following day. That was the sniper. Jojo wound up like in what was a killing zone, and every time we got up there to get his to get his body, it would open up on us. Waldo Avalos was Jojo's friend. When when I first got there, he he knew a, a you know I was new. He tried to teach me everything he could to keep me alive. As it turned out, it was Jojo who died in Vietnam, but he didn't have to. He wasn't drafted. He wasn't even an American citizen. Everybody said there was ways to stop him from going because he wasn't a citizen. He was uh, born in Mexico and he was a citizen of Mexico. And there was no reason for him to enlist or go, in, go to the war. Pilar Jimenez is Jojo's sister. They lived on a ranch in Red Rock, just north of Tucson, which earned Jimenez a nickname from a popular Beatles song. Jojo was a man who thought he was a loner, but he knew it couldn't last. Jojo lived his own in Tucson, Arizona, for some California grass. But Jimenez was originally from the city of Morelia in the Mexican state of Michoacan, where he lived with his grandmother. He came to Arizona at the age of 10 to live with his sister and mother, who had worked at the Mexican consulate. Jose Francisco Jimenez, or Pancho as he was known here, went to work at the ranch and made many friends in school. But he was real popular. In, in fact, in the Future Farmers of America, on his last year, he was made president. Everybody knew him at school, at uh, Santa Cruz Valley Union High School. That's where we went. Friends say Jimenez eventually wanted to return to Mexico and help his family. But his first duty was to a country that had given him so much. He wanted to go because his friends, and he grew up here, and he wanted to show his appreciation to the uh, United States for how well they treated my mom and him and, and me, just 
by letting us come over here and uh, live. So he, he felt grateful. Jojo joined the Marine Corps because he felt he owed this country something. Had given him a good education, had given him a lot of things that he didn't have in Mexico. Despite his citizenship, his acts of bravery did not go unrecognized. Almost a year after his death, Lance Corporal Jose Francisco Jojo Jimenez was awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor, the military's highest award. It is amazing that he would risk his life um, for the American cause in, in Vietnam. But knowing Jojo, he wanted to do the right thing. He, I, I'm sure he was very, very proud to be a member of the Marines. I know he was, and he always wanted to do the right thing. And maybe that was part of the reason why he was so brave and so loyal and so determined to do the right thing on the battlefield. And he never wanted to shirk his responsibilities, and he always went forward risking his life uh, quite a few times. President Richard Nixon gave the award to Jojo's mother and sister in a ceremony at the White House. The award was appreciated, but did little to comfort the grieving family. It was hard on my mom. Oh, everybody. We couldn't, we couldn't believe it. It took a long time. Even for me, well, now I'm starting to feel it again, but uh, I couldn't even mention his name. Because the tears would start coming. Jimenez died a hero in his adopted country. That wasn't necessarily the case in his native Mexico. Mexico was against the Vietnam War. And if you were a Mexican citizen like he was, and you went to serve in Vietnam, they considered you a mercenary. Then there was the issue of his military headstone. Jojo's family couldn't afford to send the heavy granite slab to Mexico. It sat under his mother's bed for 17 years until volunteers and veterans paid for a flight and conducted an official military ceremony at his gravesite in Morelia. Even at the time, Jojo's mother believed him to be alive. She had held on to the hope that um, he would come back even with the family from over there, you know, his own. Because he, he never got married, never had kids. Um, so she always had that hope that he would come back. Jose Francisco Jimenez would never come back, but his legacy lives on. Marines at a naval station in Spain named a barracks after Jimenez. In a Marine Corps training manual, the Lance Corporal's valor is used as an example of a Marine making the ultimate sacrifice. His life cut short at the age of 23. Jojo Jimenez would leave a lasting impression on the people he grew up with and those he served with. We want to all believe that uh, there was a reason why they died and um, maybe they did something good for the world, but uh, it's uh, certainly was a travesty, uh, the whole Vietnam War, what happened over there. But as I said, Jojo was just a fantastic human being as as everyone was, and uh, they were just a fantastic bunch of young, young boys that fought in that war, and I uh, hope that they're always remembered.